from Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game. And here are today's newlyweds. This couple walked down the aisle 21 months ago, Jennifer and Gerald Gatto. Our next couple did the I Do's 11 months ago, Lisa and Peter Sherb. This couple made it official one month ago, Marty and Adam Brasida. And our next couple exchanged their vows four months ago, Joe and Mike Garrigan. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Hey, thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. And hello to our couples. Are you ready to play this game? Yeah! Well, let's send the ladies off to the soundproof room. Would you go, please? And gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And we have the strangest rule here. Whoever has the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and here's your first question. Gentlemen, will your wife say she's dated more jumbos or shrimps? Has she dated more jumbos or shrimps, Mike? Uh, jumbos. Or where are you, Mike? I'm right on the shrimp. <laughs> Jumbos. <laughs> Peter. That would have to be uh, shrimps. Shrimps. Okay. Daryl? Uh, my wife wouldn't date a shrimp. I'd have to say jumbo. She's dated more jumbos. Absolutely. All right. Adam? Uh, shrimps. Shrimps. Definitely. Okay. Next question, gentlemen. What part of your wife's body will she say is like an onion because it makes you want to cry? <laughs> Peter? I would say her stomach at this point because she's pregnant. It's just getting bigger and bigger. Her and stomach. Bigger. Okay. Daryl? I'd have to go with her hips, Bob. Her hips, Bob. Adam? Uh, I'd say her toes. Her toes? Yeah. Makes you want to cry. Yeah, she's got these uh, little toes that look like cartoon toes. Cartoon toes? <laughs> yeah. Mike? Oliver. No, it can't be Oliver. I can eat <laughs> one part. Okay, her tummy. Her tummy. All right, next question, gentlemen. Think about this one now. If you had been born gay <laughs> and not gotten married, which of the other husbands here today will your wife say you would pick as a lover? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Daryl? I don't think <laughs> number too one, well, number Bob. three, or number four? Uh, <laughs> uh, five, Bob. No, no, there is no five. Oh, there is no five. Okay. Number uh, five is the cameraman, and he'll whack you. <laughs> I'd say, uh, number two. Uh, no, you're number two. <laughs> number one, right. number right. three, or number, number three, four? Bob, number three. Number three. Absolutely. <laughs> Makes you nervous, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Adam? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> number two, three, or four, Adam? Uh, number four. Number four. <laughs> Hey, Mike, what do you think? I'll take this guy. <laughs> uh, no, no. Well, which one did you point to? Number, number, number two or number three? three? Number three. Yeah. That's two of you guys that picked number three. You know that. Hey, what do you think, Peter? Number one. Number one. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll be right back. Unite these newlyweds. That's a funny question. We'll see how well uh, husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after this. Tomorrow, starting at noon, Buzzer is the place to play with our most popular shows. That's why daytime is playtime. Every day you must watch. Tomorrow, starting at noon Eastern, only on Buzzer. Let's play.
welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you'll get five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that great second honeymoon. <laughs> Ladies, we had so much fun while you were gone. Here's your first question for five points. Ladies, would you say that you have dated more shrimps or jumbos? Marty, have you dated more shrimps or jumbos? Jumbos. You've dated jumbos. Your husband said you've dated a whole lot of shrimps. <laughs> I don't know what shrimp he's talking about. <laughs> he doesn't know what jumbo you're talking about either. <laughs> Jennifer. Well, Bob, by the looks of him, everyone is a shrimp, so I would have to say shrimps. You've dated more shrimps. Yes. Your husband said you've dated more, you've dated more jumbos. I told him you wouldn't date a shrimp. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what do you think, Lisa? Oh, I'd have to say shrimps. You've dated more shrimps? Yeah. Your husband said you've dated a whole lot of shrimps. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. I would say shrimps. Shrimps. Your husband said you've dated jumbos. <laughs> well, that's quite a mustache he's got in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got him, so. Pardon me? I have him. The rest of them were shrimps. D does he get stuff caught in that thing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the time. Let me see you wiggle. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. <laughs> what part of your body, ladies, what part of your body would you say is like an onion because it makes your husband want to cry? <laughs> part of your body, Jennifer, is like an onion because it makes him want to cry. My hips. Your hips? He predicted you would say, it's your hips. Yeah. Lisa. Oh. Yep. Um, I would have to say my bottom. My behind. Your what? My bottom. My behind. Oh, that's what I thought you yeah. said. Yeah. <laughs> I actually heard you the first time. I just want to hear you say it again. Because no. <laughs> I knew how torturous it was to say it. What was your answer again? <laughs> my, my bottom. All right. Peter predicted you would say it would be your stomach. Because oh, it's getting bigger because stomach. you're pregnant. Oh, that's pregnant. right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. Don't, don't cry. I know. Joe. My behind. You're behind. That's big. It uh. is. <laughs> how, how big is it? Too big. Too big. He says, he says it's your tummy. It's big. <laughs> yeah. We're doing really oh, good oh. here. <laughs> Marty? I would have to say my toes. Your toes. All right, he predicted you would say it would be your toes, yeah! All right, next question, ladies. Think about this one carefully. No. <laughs> ladies, if your husband had been born gay and not gotten married, which one of the other husbands here today would your husband pick as a lover? <laughs> Now, Lisa, would it be number one, number two, or number four? You can look at the others. It's okay. I would have to say number two. Number two? two. All right. Yes. You think that's yes. yes. It's got good hair, bud. Yes, the hair. Yeah. Uh, your husband said he would pick any number one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 can you believe that? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I was so embarrassed. But he's... No offense. No, no, of course, no offense. Yeah, Joe, uh, number uh, one, two, or three? Do you think he number said number two? Number two. Mike what? likes a lot of tattoos. Oh. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, your husband likes everything. No. <laughs> number three. <laughs> oh. Watch him, Lisa. He's <laughs> after him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 Mike, Mike, don't put your hands there. It looks funny. <laughs> don't put them there either. <laughs> don't put them there. <laughs> Molly, did your husband... <laughs> Molly, did your husband say number two, number three, or number four? Number two. <laughs> number two. No, he likes number four. <laughs>
<laughs> you devil down there, huh? <laughs> Boy, when you got it, you got it, don't you? <laughs> oh, Jennifer, what do you think he said? I'm going to say number four. Number four. Your husband? <laughs> no, number three. Number three. Number three got two votes. <laughs> Lisa, two of the guys on this panel would pick your husband as their lover. Okay. <laughs> We'll be back with the wives of Seattle. They pretty good. Their husbands will say if I have to be messages. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. Ladies, your husbands are now secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. <laughs> it's get even time. Each of these questions will now be worth 10 points, and here's our first one. Ladies, what will your husband say is the longest period of time the two of you have ever gone without making love since you've been married? Lisa, since you've been married. Hurry, please. Of three days. Three days. I would say three days. Okay. Jennifer? Well, we have five kids, so it's sometimes it goes a long time. Um, Two weeks? With five kids, it doesn't sound to me like it's going a long time. <laughs> Two not weeks. Okay, Marty? Um, about a week. One week. Joe? A year. A year? A year. <laughs> it's that dang mustache, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> One of the things, yes. Yeah. Next question, ladies. How many of his own teeth will your husband say he still has? How many, Jennifer, of his own teeth will he say he still has? Um, five. Five. <laughs> Marty? That I know all of them. 
of them. How many is that? I need a number. Uh, 20. 20. Joe? <laughs> 36. 26. Lisa? 26. 26. Yeah. Same as her husband. <laughs> <laughs> and he picked him. I know. <laughs> yeah. Next question, ladies. You just came home to find messages on your phone machine from your mother, your husband, and your best girlfriend. In what order will your husband say you're likely to return the calls? In what order? They're from your husband. Um, excuse me. They're from your mother, your husband, and your best girlfriend. Madi, what order are you going to return the calls? Um, husband, mother, and girlfriend. Husband, mother, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Joe? H husband, mother. Husband, mother, girlfriend. Friend. All right. Lisa? <sighs> girlfriend. A girlfriend, husband, husband mother. mother. Yes. Okay. You got a lot to tell your girlfriend, don't yes. you? Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer. Um, the same as Lisa. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Um, husband. Husband. Mother. mother. Yes, definitely. All right. Twenty-five point bonus question, ladies. What product will your husband say is represented in his all-time favorite TV commercial? I need the brand name of the product. What would it be, Joe? His all-time. Er, pardon me. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders, Lisa. I'd say. Um, Miller Genuine Draft. <laughs> Miller Genuine Draft. Okay, Jennifer? Um, a Harley. Harley commercial. Harley. Okay, Marty? Revlon, Cindy Crawford. <laughs> a Revlon with Cindy Crawford. Yeah. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands and compare answers on the Newlywed Game right after these messages. Next, it's starting. Our classic concentration mini marathon is next with a prize behind every number, a winner in every game, and drama in every guess. Stay tuned. back to the newlywed game. We're having a good time today. All right, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Gentlemen, tell me, what would you say is the longest period of time the two of you have gone without making love since you've been married? Longest period of time, Daryl. Oh, that hurts, Bob. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? 30 days, Bob. 30 days. All right. She said the longest period of time has been two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> Must be something else. Yeah, this seemed like 30 days, didn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah. It has okay. never been that long. Hey, Peter. Yeah. 
That would probably be about seven days since uh, Lisa's out on, on work and we miss each other every seven once Seven days. Seven she days. predicted you would say it would be a total of three days. Three days. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like an average. <laughs> Pardon me, you did what? I did average. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> did I wake you, Mike? I'm sorry. Yeah, it's been a while there, Bob. <laughs> oh. A month? One month. Oh, no? so close. Judges, stand by. She said one year. <laughs> Why do you think we got Viagra? What seems to be the problem here? Talk to old Dr. Bob. I got him Viagra. See if that works. Pardon me? I got him some Viagra. Oh, you got some Viagra. <laughs> I'm just afraid to use it. That's I don't blame you. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, because if you die, they can't get the casket shut. <laughs> Adam. Uh, 30 days. 30 days. Your wife said one week. I don't know what you've been doing, sleeping. Oh, you're, you're pregnant. <laughs> that didn't stop us. <laughs> next, next question. Think about this one, guys. How many of your own teeth do you still have? <laughs> Peter, how many of your own teeth do you still have? All of them. Well, how many is that? 32. 32. Your wife said you've got a total of 26. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know. How many? <laughs> Haven't you ever no. counted his teeth? <laughs> no, but I will. Yeah. I will make it. Something to do tonight. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mike. 31. 31. All right. Your wife said you've got 26 of your own teeth. Well, I, how often do I look in your mouth? Gee. You always sleep with your mouth closed and <laughs> Does he snore? Very bad. Really? I bet that mustache just dances, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. At times it does. Yeah. <laughs> Take that Viagra. It helps snoring, too. Yeah. <laughs> you won't want to sleep, pal. <laughs> Adam? Uh, 26. 26. Your wife said you've got 20 of your own teeth. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Daryl, how many you got? <laughs> Not many, Bob. How many? <laughs> look at me, Daryl. Eh. Look, at, look at that camera. Right there, where the red light is. Eh. Hey, oh, what's that in your tongue? Oh, you're, no wonder you speak so many pearls of wisdom. <laughs> Absolutely, Bob. It glows in the dark, too. What does? That thing in your tongue? Absolutely. What is it? It's an earring. You put an earring in your tongue? Absolutely. Well, you had bad aim, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, for me or her? Pardon me? For me or her. What? I had bad aim. No, I want to know how many teeth you got that are yours. Oh, absolutely. Um, Twelve. Twelve. All right. She said you've got five. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that camera again. <laughs> I got twelve, Bob. I can only okay. count three in the I know, because I'm, I'm watching them go quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Gentlemen, your wife just came home to find messages on your phone machine from her mother, her best girlfriend, and you. In what order would you say she's likely to return the calls? Mother, best girlfriend, and you. In what order would she return the calls, Mike? Me first, mother, you, and then You, girlfriend. mom, and girlfriend. All right, she predicted you would say it would be you, mom, and girlfriend. You got it. Okay. Adam. Um, I'd have to say me, then her mother. Then her girlfriend. All right. She predicted you would say husband, mom, and girlfriend. You got it. <laughs> Daryl. I got to go with the rest, Bob. Me, mom, and girlfriend. All right. She said it would definitely be, card please, girlfriend, husband, mom. All uh, righty. You're always saying how <laughs> Peter. I, I would know. say me first, girlfriend, then mother. All right. She predicted you would say no, girlfriend. Girlfriend, husband, and then mother. What if I needed lunch or something? Or... Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're going to Cancun, Mexico! You're off to experience all the fun Mexico has to offer at the fabulous five-star Fiesta Americana Condesa Cancun. Enjoy spectacular sun-filled days and starry nights in this romantic paradise. There's never been a better time to take a fiesta break in Mexico. Back to you, Bob. All right, John, thank you very much. Time for a 25-point bonus question. Before I ask the question, I just want to say you guys have been great sports today. It's been a real pleasure having you on the show, and I mean that from all my heart. You've been wonderful. It is.
Gentlemen, for 25 points, what product is represented in your all-time favorite TV commercial? I need the brand name of the product. In your all-time favorite TV commercial. Let's go to couple number two. Daryl and Jennifer, you have five. 25 would give you 30. Get it right, you'd be in first place, Daryl. What product? AMC Theater. AMC Theater. She predicted you would say it would be Harley. Harley oh. Davidson. Couple number three. <laughs> Peter and Lisa with five. 25 gives you 30. Peter, take over the lead with the correct answer. I'd say Reese's. Reese, all right. She predicted you would say it would be Miller Genuine oh, Draft. Beer. Beer. Couple number four, Mike and Joe with 10, 25 gives you 35. Mike, take over the lead with the correct answer. Hurry, please. I'm trying, I'm trying. Um. <laughs> Hurry, Mike. Um, Diet Pepsi. Pardon me? Diet Pepsi. 20. Diet Pepsi. I can hardly read your lips. You know that. She predicted you would say it Stupid. is Head and head Shoulders. shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Couple number one, Adam and Marty have 15. 25 to give you a grand total of 40 points. What's your answer, Adam? Uh, a Corvette commercial. A Corvette. She predicted you would say, no, it's Revlon yeah, with Cindy Revlon. Crawford. However, you guys have 15 Oops. points, so you're our newlywed game grand prize winner. Congratulations to Adam and Marty. Thanks to all of our couples, and thanks to you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.